Well, if you are having a hard time finding a new refrigerator, washer, or dryer, you're not alone. Unprecedented demand and shutdowns are causing a nationwide shortage of appliances. And CBS 2's Carolyn Gossoff tells us, though, a small retailer on Long Island is bucking the trend. Richard Merridge likes being a little guy in a big box store world. Jay's, his independent appliance store in Levittown, was opened by his dad in the 1950s. This is my business. It's my life. It's my blood. When coronavirus hit in March, he was seriously ill for a month. One of his salesmen died. And I'm seeing all these first responders, you know, they're, they're going out of their way for their country. So I said, what could I do? Then appliance factories started closing, and he knew the answer. My mission is to make sure a customer, they got enough stuff to worry about. Sickness, jobs, the only customers are coming to me that were fired or furloughed. He leveraged all his savings on a gamble. I took every dime I had, every resource I had, and I made it a mission in my life that I'm going to resolve my issue for them in delivering an appliance. Like, holy mackerel, how could that be so important? But it was. His more than a million dollars in inventory stocked to the ceiling in this massive Suffolk County warehouse. Washers, dryers, refrigerators, dishwashers. His gamble has paid off. The phones were absolutely ringing off the wall. It was just absolute pandemonium. The pandemic really put a wrench in everything. And I mean, walked in and bam, there it is. <laughs> Box stores still have months-long backlogs amid record demand, says Hofstra International Business Professor Sean Thalen. And they're coming from countries that were hit very hard by the pandemic, which shut down their manufacturing. But at Jay's... I'll have it at the store for you to pick up. Other independent retailers in his buying cooperative have also stocked up. We just kept buying because we knew that we needed to have inventory. Marriage says it's about more than profit. Do you know where it paid off? My conscience and my purpose of doing something. That paid off big time. A David and Goliath story, he says, with a moral. Don't ever give up to the big guy. Experts predict appliance backlogs will continue through next year. In Levittown, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.